what's up YouTube, how are we doing, hope you've all had an incredible start to your year, can't wait for this year, absolutely buzzing for all that's got in store for all of us. So just wanted to hop on today and make a video for you guys on the Trade Assistant and how to download MT4 onto your Mac. It seems that after my last video showing my desk setup, um, I got a lot of questions asking how do I get uh, MT4 on the Mac, how do I use a Trade Assistant, what is it, where do I find it. Um, so I just figured, you know what, make a quick tutorial. Uh, please understand, very out my comfort zone in the sense of I'm not a tech guy and this isn't really a tech channel, but I figured it's a really helpful video that can help many. Um, a lot of you guys in Phantom have asked for this video as well, so I figured, look, I'll just create one. Um, it's Monday, um, first trading day of the year, if you like. Um, so I'm just doing this after New York session, hence the lighting, a little bit dark, but I just figured I'd get on with it. Obviously, most of it's going to be sharing my screen anyway. Um, so yeah, hope you take some value from it. Catch you in the next one. Peace. What's happening, guys? So, um, here it is. Obviously, I will drop this link in the description, so don't be like, oh my god, he's teasing us with a link or anything like that. I'll, I'll drop it for you. It'll be in the description below. So, here it is, MetaTrader 4. Um, basically, you know, how to install it on Mac. It literally tells you, it's dummy proof, to be honest. You literally need to go down, you need to click download the trading platform for Mac. It will literally look like that. Drag it into the applications folder. Bang. Like, job done. That's literally it. Um, you don't need to do anything else for it. You don't need to add anything to it. Um, so once that's done, like my advice would be just, yeah, roll with it from there. Um, as you can see, obviously after this is downloaded, you want to then go to this link, which is the MQL5 um, forum. You need to make an account. If you haven't got one, um, you can create one here. Um, when you click buy, it will ask you to log in anyway, because that account is what's linked to your MetaTrader. Um, when you're logging into the app. So what you want to do is, at the moment he's got a little deal on as well, Merry Christmas, $50, normally 100 Now this video has been recorded on Monday um, and it won't be out till Sunday. So this might not be an offer anymore, so apologies. But again, it, honestly, it will change your trading. It's so helpful. So I highly recommend getting it. Um, but yeah, as you'll see here, um, you know, it literally explains to you a little bit about it. Now, if you, if for some reason this video still doesn't give you enough insight into how to use this, then I highly recommend you just clicking this link, which I'll also post. And the guy's literally got a detailed blog and he explains every single thing and every single button that is in this uh, trade assistant. It, it shows you everything, the things I didn't even know it did. Um, I'll be honest, I briefly read through this and then um, when it came to actually um, even has some templates for you as well and you can use it on MT5 um, when it came to it I just got a demo account and I just literally spent a week just playing around with it it really isn't that difficult once you realize you're like whoa actually this is easy um, so yeah if, if my video and my explanation isn't good enough or I didn't cover something then like I say I will drop the link for this I highly recommend you checking it out um, and then yeah we'll go to MT4 now so it's sitting pretty here one second. So, we're on MT4, um, and as you can see, obviously this is this is what it would look like. So if you've just installed it, this is what it look like. Obviously, it's going to have that horrible black background with a green grid and all that jazz. You can set up your own properties profile and that. Um, but basically, what you want to do is you want to make sure you've got auto trading turned on. You then want to find the EA. So you want to go to market down here. You want to go to purchase. And then anything you've purchased on the MQL5 market will be here. Now, obviously, I'm logged in. If you're not logged in, I think it asks you to log in when you click purchase. Um, so you need to log into your MQL5 account down here. And then, obviously, you would click open. Um, and then once you click open, usually it appears up here. You've got market, you've got trade assistant. Drag it on. And then it comes up with all these different things. Now, if you go to common, you want to make sure you've got allow DLL imports. You want to make sure that's turned on. And then you want to go to your inputs and obviously you can change all these settings when you first load it it's a horrible green and red box like it showed you in the in the previous image um what i would say is obviously take some time to play around with it i've got one saved i spent ages doing this i'll happily share with you guys what it is um i didn't really play around with with like the settings as much you can do that when the the ea is actually on um all i did was the colors which i'll get to um for you all so here you've got like buttons as well like i say you guys might take a lot more kind of pride with this you might enter things so you can close your you can close an order by pushing k you can open a, a trade by pushing l you can 
open a cell by pushing space. You can literally um, set hotkeys and commands for the whole keyboard, so you don't actually have to use the mouse. One reason I didn't do that is one, I'm lazy, and two, I've got I've got a daughter who I'm not going to lie. If she can get hold of my keyboard, she will come in and she'll smack a button. Now, if I've got hotkeys on, say, spacebar to go full margin because I'm feeling a little bit dairy, and my little one's going, um. I'm probably bankrupt, probably got no more accounts left, and I'm probably going to have to go and start OnlyFans. And I don't really want to spend 2022 doing that. So for me, um, I've just kept it kept it really simple. Um, you know, you don't have to do that. Of course, you can you can really take some time into this. It's completely down to you. It's just me. Um, anyway, if I get to the colours, so these, oh, these are the colours. Um, you know, you can show them for the panel, um, the background, the highlights, the info. Then you can change like the, the colors of the lines. You can change the buy button, the sell button, text. Like honestly, everything. They're mine. You don't have to use them. This is what it looks like. Boom. Nice and simple. Yeah, nice and easy. Make sure auto trading's on. You'll know if it's working because you'll have a smiley face. Uh, if it's sad, then it means it's not on. So always check that if you're going to take a trade and you're not aware of that. There's nothing worse than hitting buy or sell and it done, nothing happens. You're like, oh, what's going on? Um, so yeah, make sure you check that out. And then obviously here it's you know it comes set like your TP stop loss like this. So we'll put two pips stop loss, and we'll put a oh, we'll put a twenty pip take profit. We'll do zero point zero one risk. So that's everything. It shows you your spread. It shows you your commission. Um, so you know it shows you shows you everything. Um, you can. It's really handy you knowing the spread in comms, especially comms, because you can kind of work out if you're going break even, you can kind of work out where you want to put your stop loss to essentially secure comms. If you're taking partials, you can kind of factor in comms, it's really helpful. Um, make sure lot calculate is on, and that will calculate the lot size for you. Obviously, if you turn it off, it would have just been where it was, which was 0 0.01. Because um, I'm going to put some trades on, I will leave it on that, but remember when you're actually setting this up, you want lot calculate on. And then it will calculate it based on the risk factors of your stop loss and take profit. If we go into settings and then we go in, into parts, you can see here you've got close part of the profit. So what this is, is if you want to put multiple take profits or you want to close a certain amount of profit at a certain level. So for me, for example, what I do when I get to one to four, I normally take 25% off the trade, which say I risk $1,000. When I get to one to four, I pull $1,000 off the trade, leave the rest to run. So I have 75% left. And that normally goes to my target. What that does is if for any reason price re-mitigates re my entry point, um, it allows me to stay in the trade without getting taken out. You know those trades where you get in, you put it at break even, taps you for break even, hits the moon and you're like, oh mate, the market hates me. Sometimes you can get multiple mitigations, so it does that. Two, it secures some form of profit. And then if I move to break even at a later date, I'm actually locking in 1% risk essentially. Um, and it just means you're extracting from the market, which is obviously really important. Um, again, you don't have to do that. You can tell me to shut up and move on with your life, you know? So close part of the profit, you need to highlight TP1. This would be for 25%. And then what you can do is you can go here, you go points, and then you can set it to be a certain amount of points. So I think if we want one to four, two, four, six, eight, we'd want that to be at 80. So then that would be one to four, it will take 25%. So then if we go back to general, click trade, and if we click lines, You'll see here now how if I enter this trade at market here, right, there's my stop loss of two pips. There's my take profit one of eight pips, right, which will take off one to four. If we turn on lock calculate, it will actually calculate for you the exact amount of money you would make and you would take off. So you, what, what I like to do is I like to reference it. And obviously because of commission, sometimes it will, one to four isn't enough. So you can see here 4R will give us £4.76, but our risk is £4.91. So what you can do is you can grab this and you can just move it to say five pounds. So it's an extra tick or so, and it's 4.25 R. Um, but what that does is it does ensure that you actually cover what you risk. Very small gains, but obviously on big accounts, um, the, the commissions can be quite high. You think you've secured profit break even and you're nowhere near that. Um, so yeah, just, just a handy tip. Um, and let's say, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna knock this back to 0 0.01 just because I'm gonna get into a trade. Say we're here now, and we're like, oh, look, it's in my level, I want to hit. Right, buy. We're in. That's the trade executed. We're in this trade now. Here's our stop loss. Here's our take profit. And obviously, what you can do at this point is you can click these three little dots. And then here you have an option to partial close, break even, trailing stop. You can even close a buy and open a sell automatically. Right? 
you can trail the stop at certain points in profit you can set it so if you click on this trailing stop at say five pips you can make it trail um, I don't really play around with that so yeah break even if you're going out and say you want to break even somewhere what you could do is you could click break even on and then you, you see that you get these lines here and then what you could do is you could move it to say right when it breaks that high I want it to go break even for me and it will automatically put the trade to break even for you which is handy to have because again you don't have to spend time managing this trade um, so yeah if we click that and then if we click break even I'll turn this off and you've got partial close now we've already got one on but let's say you wanted to add another one you can literally click partial close profit you can set this to I don't know let's say 10 I think it's gonna take me out before I can show you yeah it's fine we get back in again so click lines buy I'm trying to move my stops but I would never do this really I'm just doing it for the purpose of the video I want to see if I can stay in just to show you what it does so obviously I've moved my stop again I would not do that um, here you can see you've got partial close on so you could add it and then what it will do is it should add you so here you go you've got TP1 you got TP2 so what you could do is you could say this is your main TP I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sound targeting um, I don't know a, a 15 minute supply zone but also I think that when we get to say here we could see some kind of reaction I want to put a take profit there and I want it to pull um, 25% again fine then you have this one here and you could say right this one I want it to pull 25% again fine so you can literally set it so it will just keep continuously pulling um, those those percentages for you and it's really handy because you know you can get in this trade here you can go out knowing that you've got break even set you've got partial set and you've got an overall take profit set in theory you do not need to do anything to this trade now you're in it apart from come back and see if you hit take profit or you've got taken out like it's it's very stress free it's very easy on the mind you don't have to watch much you probably have to enter the trade and if you want multiple levels of take profit in a certain BE then you probably have to spend five minutes here managing it right in the first five minutes usually if the trades playing out it, it's gonna go if not you're out and it's like all right, I'll move on or I'll reevaluate the situation if you want to just set alerts on, on trading view and then grab your phone if you're out cool do that I just find it really handy because I know that now that I've set that in an unemotional state if you like because I've had all these predetermined targets before I got in I now know that in theory um, the targets are set so I can go out and let it be if I'm out and I'm on a walk and I'm not sure I could be looking I could be checking I could be closing I could be doing dumb stuff right so it, it kind of keeps you from doing the dumb stuff and if you click on this button here this gives you an option to close or close the sell close all positions so if you're in buys and sells it will close all of them if you're in a swing trade from four months ago and you just took a trade and you click close all it will close everything so be mindful obviously close the buy if you've got any limits on it will delete the orders and then if you want to close a certain percentage this is another tool that I like if I'm here and price is coming say now we're in a little bit of profit I could go close 25% hit close boom we've just closed 25% of that trade okay I think what I did is close the whole trade because obviously I'm risking such a little 0.01 lot it just closes the whole trade because it can't take 25% off um, but yeah so you can just click close 25% what I like to do sometimes is close 90% when I'm approaching my main target um, and then obviously if you move into profit say you want it to break this level of structure and then you like I want it to go break even and you don't want to set auto break even and you're here just click break even and it takes you straight to break even which is again really handy um, and then obviously you get your lines back on job done now if you want to use a buy limit or a sell limit you grab this and you would put say you wanted a buy stop buy stop you see how it changed to buy stop it will enter there and then obviously you drag your stop loss to wherever you wish it to be if you want to enter the opposite side ie sells you need to move the stop loss above the ask and bid and then here you can see now we've got sell limit so you could set a sell limit here now what you need to remember is if you're doing limits or buy stops or sell stops right do not click buy or sell here because even though it says sell limit if you hit sell I'll show you look if I hit sell it sells at market it doesn't sell at the limit right and then we get filled here and we're like oh my god I've just been put into a trade I wanted to wait for it to come back up here it's just tagged me in here now I'm gonna close close this so what you want to do is you want to click this again and then you want to click sell limit so if we open the lines again and we drag this up to the top then we hit sell limit now we placed our order here okay and you can set a timer on this as well to how long you want the limit to be valid for again I don't play with that but you can and then if you want to remove the limit look, if you go here delete orders 
it deletes everything. Um, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's much else to show, if I'm honest. Um, that's how I use it. Like I say, what I do is, if you've got Mac, I don't know if you need the new Mac and the new iPad. I couldn't tell you. It's just a setup I have. But if you go into Mac display and you click add display, you can add your iPad display. And then you can use your mouse and keyboard and you can drag MT4 onto your iPad. So what I do is, if I'm using the lower time frame of seconds, I'll have the seconds chart on trading view. I have my MT4 up and I know where I can just hit market execute bang and it, and it lines up with my trading view really really handy for me very portable setup I can just on the go do my thing without any worries or dramas really um, yeah you know I hope this video helps I hope it adds some some insight into how it works like I say it's not that in depth there's probably a lot more to it um, but this is how I use it is how I see it fit um, if you could all just like, subscribe, comment, share it with your friends, it'd be a massive appreciation. I'm trying to get real attraction on the channel. I feel like there's a lot of value on there personally. Um, and I would like to see it get more views and get more reach just due to it helping people. Um, remember at 10K, I'm doing a giveaway. I was going to do prop fund, um, but I realized I can't really gift prop fund accounts because you have to buy them in your name and stuff. So what I'll probably do is just give away 500 quid. In that way, it gets someone... Uh, they can spend it on a prop fund account, they can take their missus or partner out, they can spin on their head and buy pointless stuff, they can keep it, they put it in a personal account, they can invest it, you do what you want with it, it's 500 quid, from me to you guys as a thank you, I'd love to give you all 500 quid, I'm not quite in that position yet, maybe one day, um, but yeah, 10k giveaway, 500 quid, I might even push it to a grand and do two 500 quid so more of you get an opportunity, I'll see, see how I'm feeling, see how quick we get there, um, but definitely do a giveaway, going to continue to obviously drop in source remember i've got a podcast which i'll be starting really soon the first one should be dropping in january um called the tra uh, trader's journey just talking to other traders you know talking about our um our battles weaknesses failures just real real hard down to earth trading you know so that's something to keep your eye out for um i'm just going to keep trying to deliver as much value as i can for you all so i hope this helps i'm going to stop waffling there i don't know how long it's been on for my watch normally tells me my watch has said the video has not recorded so i'm kind of praying it it did because otherwise this is going to suck. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you all on the next one. Have a great weekend. Catch you in a bit. Peace and love. <laughs>